Hey there, welcome to the Silly Dojo Podcast. I'm your I'm your co-host, Cam. And I'm your other co-host, Theron. And along with the rest of the team, we are the team behind AMZShark.com, the leading toolkit for Amazon sellers. In this first episode, I think we just really wanted to introduce ourselves. We want to give you a chance to get to know us. Uh, Theron, you want to say hi? Yeah, my name's Theron, and I come from a background working in digital publishing, selling information products at a really big company called Mind Valley in Asia. And while I was there, I just kind of absorbed this entrepreneurial attitude and everything that has to do with selling online. And while I was there, I learned a ton about selling online and becoming an entrepreneur and just doing your own thing. So after about a year, I quit and started my own business online selling courses and productivity products and then moved to Thailand to grow that business. And in Thailand is actually where I met Cam here. So I think we met at the co-working space. Is that right? We did. We did. I remember that place. Why, why did you move to Thailand? Well, Thailand was the cheapest place, and it was really close by. <laughs> <laughs> points for honesty? Points for honesty? Yes. Okay. Um, yes. Chiang Mai that's... is really good price, and you know that as well. That's why you were living there, too. <laughs> It's, it's part of the, yeah, cost of living is, is a pretty big factor. Um, I'm actually in Chiang Mai right now. Um, like Theron, I have a bit of a marketing background. I mean, if you're going back, you know, five years or so. And I have a bit of a software background, too. Um, I wasn't into Amazon the first time I heard about it. Like, maybe some people listening to this are skeptical about the whole Amazon thing. And I was. I was skeptical for like a year and a half. I'd actually tried it once before, kind of, and failed. Like, I had bought product. I listed it. Just completely failed. <laughs> Lost a bunch of money. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, you know, I kind of revisited the whole thing because we built Amazon Shark. We built AMZShark.com. And we built that because we knew people would use it. We saw that there, like, basically what happened was there was, you know, there's always been Google rank trackers, but there was mm-hmm. none for Amazon sellers. And so we just built it. Like, it was so obvious people would use it. So mm-hmm. we built it. And then I had to start talking to the customers, right? Um, the people listening to this probably and I just learned so much like I talked to hundreds of people especially when we were first getting started and like I had to and um, (laughs) and I just learned so much from hundreds of sellers I kind of dabbled back into it like you know I was I was convinced that it was a huge opportunity I gave it a shot and I'm you know I I have some modest success so Mm -hmm. that that's that's where I'm coming from I have the same kind of marketing background I guess we both came from you know been to Thailand that's funny um and and I do actually sell on Amazon myself there. And do you sell? Yeah, I'm just kind of getting into it. I I don't have any products online right now, but I've been kind of in the sphere. Some of my friends have done import exporting from China, and it's always been on my radar. And now with just kind of being absorbed in this podcast and seeing all these experts just you know kick ass on Amazon. Uh, I'm really interested in to learn more and from you and from our experts that we're going to be interviewing. Yeah, I think that's mainly because I don't think I know everything, right? I'm, I'm decent at Amazon. By the way, we've never done a podcast before. This was the most self-conscious thing I've ever, it was crazy uh, the oh, first yeah. couple of times I tried to record this. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know for both you, of us. Yeah, probably, right. And, um, but, I, you know, I, I do sell a bit, but I think the meat of this podcast is going to be interviews with, with top sellers, with, with experts um, about certain topics. Yeah, um, that's definitely our goal is to just, we're, we're going to get out of the way and try to get those experts to right. just lay down the secrets and the good stuff for us and for you guys. Let them speak directly to you, the people listening. And I, I, I think it's important in this first episode we talk about who that should be. Um, mm-hmm, this definitely. podcast is mostly going to be for brand owners and private labelers, um, and a little bit for retailers. Uh, Theron, do you know what, uh, you want to say a bit about what private labeling means in case somebody's not quite sure? Yeah. So private labeling is where you go to a place like Alibaba or sorcerers in China that already have products. They're already making these products like a widget A, and then you just kind of slap your own label on it, your own brand, and then you can compete on those on Amazon. And so it's easy for people to start up because you don't have to go into R&D and spend a lot of money creating a product. You can sell one that's already there. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much it. You just you're putting your brand on an existing product. I I would hope that most people have a loftier goal than that, um, and I think most people do. I think most people get started in brand ownership because they want to build something amazing. I have a buddy, uh, Will, who I think we'll have on here, and he sells uh, men's cosmetics. Mm. And I know when he started out, like he started out, he private labeled. Now he makes all his own stuff. And this is completely true. You, I think you might know Will. Anyway. Um, yeah, probably, probably met him somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. It's because you can't, I mean, you don't have enough money when you get started typically to, you know, spend to buy 5,000 bottles of a custom formulated shampoo or whatever. And so, so private labeling is a really good way to bootstrap your own brand um, if, if you're trying to be pragmatic about it, if you're trying to be really li- realistic. Um, and then again, this is, I think we'll have some retailers tuning in. Um, so if you are a retailer and you're listening, there's going to be great info for you. Don't worry, you won't be left out. Yeah, especially if they want to get into private label and brand ownership, which I think... And a lot of people do. It's huge. Yeah. Like it's a lot of... Because I, no offense to any retailers out there, it's kind of a dying breed. Like it's, there's still definitely purposes for retailers, but that's kind of what Amazon is, a retailer. And so like they're squeezing the margins, right? Like they mm-hmm. are... There's, um, here's what I'll say. Let's get my opinions out. Let's just be really objective. Um, Amazon Shark's user base, by the way, is like 50% private labelers, 50% um, or brand owners, 50% uh, retailers, right? So it's half and half. The retailers make margins of like 5 to 15% tops, like 5% really, 7%. And the brand owners make 50% margins, right? Those are the apples of the world. Yeah, it's no question. So, it's a, it's it, that's why you see so many people trying to switch because it's just way better. Like you would not be stressing out if you made fifty percent margins. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think we will have a lot of retailers listening, mostly for that reason. Yeah, definitely. And I think we're going to be going into that in the next in the very first podcast is really diving deep into private labeling and the getting started. Yeah. So if you are interested, um, tune in to the next one. Uh, just click next if you're on iTunes right now. What whatever. And um, I want to ask you a quick favor first. Um, go to Facebook. If you have an account, search uh, for the group called Seller Dojo. Uh, that's the name of this podcast. That's the name of our Facebook group. And join the group. Make a post. Introduce yourself. Tell us wh- where you are in your journey and what you really want to learn about. That way we can make sure to get the most relevant people on here as interview guests um, and really just help you guys out the most. Yeah, definitely. And you can also check us out on some of our free content on our blog, amzcentral.com, also amzshark.com. Definitely good to take a peek there. But most importantly, let's get the community together so that you can tell us exactly what you want right inside that Facebook group, The Seller Dojo. So, Cam, let's uh, take it away. Thanks, everybody. Yep. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you in the next podcast. See you next week. <laughs>